Kia ora everybody, welcome to 2020 and welcome to this new series. I'm getting into tutorials. I had a bit of an epiphany maybe a couple of weeks ago and I realised that all the things that I know and all the things that I've learnt over the years, I had just assumed that people knew them and it's obvious that not everybody knows even just the basics of how to use certain programs and that's what the series is going to be about. It's going to be about helping you to learn and to become proficient, I use that word a bit, at the programs that I use. And really what I want to do with this series is just share my knowledge to save you some time. Because all the stuff that I learned, you know, it's taken me years and years to learn. And if I can help cut that time down for you to learn it, um, I'll be happy. Welcome to tutorial one. It's going to sound a bit weird because it's been a long time since I've done a YouTube video. And also my goal for this year is to do a YouTube video every week. It's already the second week of January and I have to do two videos this week and to get back up to speed and to get back uh, in the right schedule. But these tutorials are going to help me achieve that goal for the year. And I want this um, these videos to be aimed at all levels. I'm going to start real basic like how to use Procreate for example. And that's what today's video is about. Uh, there are going to be more videos coming, so please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Thumb snaps. Um, first off, this is for everybody who follows me on Instagram, and you probably will know that most of the digital work that I've been doing has been done on Procreate. And I'm just going to jump in and teach you the basics, real simple stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, download the app. Uh, on the App Store. I'm not too sure if it's on Android devices, but it's definitely on iPad. Right here, I'm using an iPad Pro, first generation 12.9 inch, and let's just dive into Procreate. Uh, let's create a new canvas. So this is what Procreate looks like when you open it. It's got different files, and up here, if you look on the right, if you push the plus button, this is how you can select a new canvas. And it's up to you what kind of size Generally, I usually just stick with an A4 if it's just a sketch, if it's not specific for any size. A4, I just like sketching on it because that's a size that I'm just used to drawing uh, on traditional like medium like with paper and stuff. So just jump in. If your um, new canvas menu doesn't look like this, it's because you probably haven't updated it. So this is the latest update uh, at the moment. I'll leave the name of this update up here. Um, but yeah, so A4 and then it'll open up your canvas, so I can't really exactly remember the names of all these settings, but I'll teach you sort of what they are. Um, so you've got your gallery, if you tap your gallery you go back to where I was just before. On this left hand side, you've got your brush size, so you can adjust your brush size. And down the bottom you've got your transparency and your opacity, so you can adjust the opacity of your brush. Um, this button here is a button you can adjust and you can customize in the settings. Uh, I don't really use these, but I usually just use it as a color picker. So if you, I've, the way I've got it set up, if I tap it and I hold anywhere, it's gonna select that color that I'm on. So white. Up here, got your settings menu. Got all different types of settings. Add. You can insert a photo, insert a file. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, a couple of updates ago, they added text. Um, cut, copy, copy canvas. What copy canvas means is you can copy everything that is on your canvas and put it onto another file. Uh, so that's settings. This is adjustments. Um, I don't really use adjustments too much. This is how you can uh, marquee. So this is like your marquee tool, so you can use it to mask areas for example so if you want to draw just in this area without affecting the rest that's what that's for different options down here i won't go in too deep this is a selection tool oh, i haven't selected anything on there this is your brush tool click in there heaps of different brushes and in each um menu there's a sub menu and there are different types of brushes pertaining to that menu. If you click in here, you've got even more options. So there's a lot of customization in this app. I usually like to use just a technical pencil. It's what I'm used to. And that's 
what I use just for sketches. This is your smudge tool, so you, you can, it's just like using your finger to smudge a drawing, in essence. You've got your eraser tool and your layers panel. Um, so yeah, let's draw something basic. Here's your colors as well. You can choose different types of um, color options. So you can use a color wheel if you want, if you're used to that. You can use this option, you can adjust saturation, hue. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can save your palettes if you want. Here's a Creative Curiosity panel uh, palette I've created. I don't really use this, but if you want to get super technical with the percentages and numbers, that's what that's there for. Yeah, so let's just use that color. Select our brush tool. I want to use the technical pencil, and then you just start drawing. And it's just like using any smart device. Pinch to zoom, two fingers to scroll around. You can zoom it right out, zoom it right in to the pixel if you want to. So that's how flexible and powerful this app is. And I think this app was only $12, I believe. I'll put the price up here um, at the time of this recording. And a cool thing about this app, if you want all this UI to disappear, the user interface, if you don't know what UI stands for, four fingers, tap, it'll disappear. Four fingers again, it'll come back. And if I don't like this and I wanna undo it without erasing it, two fingers, tap undo three fingers tap to redo you want to do another layer add another layer and this is adjust the visibility of that layer but yeah so that's it for this tutorial this is tutorial one uh, I won't give it a name or anything but this is just a basic intro a basic overview of procreate this is an app I've used heaps for the last going on four years now and I love it it's probably the program that I've used the most um, the digital program that I've used the most uh, in my whole career actually so definitely get amongst it uh, I can't sing its praises enough and the cool thing about this app is it gets major updates every six months and the last of those updates just being uh, last month I believe December uh, they added and animation tools so you can now do stop motion animation on this app so yeah so that's me i hope you enjoyed this video uh plenty more to come this is my first video for the year of 2020 and i've got another one coming very shortly and then another one followed shortly after that so yeah my name is the tuna leave a comment on any tutorials that you'd like to see from me this is just the beginning i want to do heaps and i just want to share as much as i can so Enjoy the rest of your day. Mauriora.